this isn't the year to be increasing grants or, uh, or, or Nuit Blanche. But quite frankly, I considered, and I think maybe a councillor is considering, uh, abandoning that program because I just don't, when we can't fund our basic services, I don't think we should be adding certain in, in money additional for grants or for events such as Nuit Wash. When we abandoned the programs for at our at the major intersections throughout the city, the ones that started under Mayor Lastman and carried through to the first years or a couple of years of the Mayor, Mayor Miller's office, when we got rid of that, I thought that was a good move, but then we transferred the money over to Nuit Wash and then we've added significantly to it again this year, whereas we're asking everybody else to be making sacrifices. We have identified the environment as a key area uh, for, uh, as a priority for the City of Toronto. It's obviously a priority for the world, it's a priority for the province, it's a priority for the nation, and it's a priority for cities. And when we talked about one of the ways of dealing with that issue is doubling the canopy. But we basically didn't provide it with any money. You can't say you're going to do something like doubling the canopy of the city in the next 20 or 25 years and then not put significant amount of money to do it. We're already falling behind. Several of the councillors, uh, Councillor Moser asked some good questions on the Main Streets initiative. Move an extension. 2,300 trees. I don't see hands. All in favor? Opposed? 2,300 trees. That is the worst kind of tokenism. And it's something that we can make happen right now and, it, and improve the canopy because it's, it's declining faster than we're replacing it. And we, went, and we put our hands over our heart and, and everything else and said, we're going to do this good thing. And then we didn't put proper money to it. And we should be putting that money to it. So that's why I'm directing money there. Or I would recommend that we direct money there. It isn't what they think we need, it's, but it is significant. It can make a difference. The other is uh, the issue of the zoning bylaw. The zoning bylaw has been promised for the last 10 years. When you go to the Ontario Municipal Board, the zoning bylaw that we have in place now is not discussed. You never get there at the Ontario Municipal Board. They deal with the provincial policy statements on intensification. They deal with our new official plan, which you can drive a Mack truck through an interpretation. It's beautiful words, but nothing substantive to hold the line. And they never get to the zoning bylaw because it's, it's, it's discounted because of its age. We need that zoning bylaw with the specifics. We were promised it when we did the official plan, and we're not putting the money. So what I've suggested is we direct significant new growth in the, this year's budget, but put it back where people want it, how it affects their neighborhoods, how it affects change in this city, and that we're not run over every time a developer takes us to the Ontario Municipal Board. The issues on, you've got to start making some sacrifices personally if you're asking for us to be making sacrifices collectively. A 3.75% increase is not, the cost, is not the cost of living. It never has been under, under these ones where we say, well, it's close. Not, they've never thank, been close. Thank you, Councillor Walker. Your time has elapsed. I can't Councillor get another Palazzo. little extension.